Book 10 of 2020 was Wishful Drinking by Carrie Fisher. So I got offered this book from a friend who was getting rid of some books. So that should have given me a hint really that it wasn't probably going to be that good because she was getting rid of it. But essentially, if you know Carrie Fisher and if you have seen her like I always remember like I saw like a bit of a documentary about her and it's pretty much like written as you would expect it to be written it's written as if she's speaking it um if you can imagine like an older person who literally just talks incessantly about their own life that's kind of how this book is written um I think that it's supposed to be funny uh, but fish is kind of comedy i mean I, I assume maybe it's american because it just feels really forced and feels really kind of like like it like I, i'm reading it thinking this is supposed to be funny i'm supposed to be laughing at this but i'm not it's just not really that funny um there were a couple of lines that i kind of snorted out and thought yeah that was a little bit funny but it wasn't you know it, it's kind of revered as it, it being very kind of or candid and hilarious and highly entertaining it, it wasn't um she kind of comes across as, as being very privileged. You know, she's come from a very privileged background. She's kind of talking about her, her early childhood. And obviously she's come, in, she's come from kind of like a very movie star, affluent kind of background. And she's always around like movie stars and things. So she just seems to like have no perception of reality and, and all, all her problems are kind of like first world problems. And so you just kind of read it like this, this woman has lived in a bubble her entire life. And she's saying that she's lived in a bubble, like she's accepting it, but it's just like, she doesn't really have a grasp on, on reality and, and what real life is like for everybody else in the world. Um, I always find it really bizarre that people take advice from people such as her because she's mentally ill like she has bipolar she was an addict um and so I, I don't understand why anybody would take her advice like she needs advice herself and you see this a lot like people that have i don't know had some kind of mental disorder or people who have gone through something and then they want to give advice to everybody else and it's kind of like if your advice worked you wouldn't have this problem so why are you trying to offer it to other people? Um, you know, unless it's, you know, if it's worked, great, share it, um, you know, to help people. But if you, if you are still suffering from it, then you can't really give that advice. Um, so I didn't really get anything out of the book. Didn't really enjoy it that much. Wasn't really that interested in her. Like, you know, she's not done anything worthwhile with her life, really. I mean, the only thing that she's done of note is to play Princess Leia. So... You know, if she hadn't have done that, then I don't think anybody would have let her write a book because the book was written as if you were talking, like it wasn't written very well. You know, it wasn't that interesting. So I definitely, you know, wouldn't recommend reading it unless you absolutely love her and you think she's amazing and that you find American um, comedy humorous, maybe. Um, so, yeah.